Carbon makes up 0.1% of the mineral content of the Earth's surface. Silica is closer to 25%. So if you could develop commercial routes that use silica or sand, then there's a great cost savings. We have been interested in depolymerizing silica from sand as a mechanism to make silicon containing chemicals that are low cost and could be used to replace or even to complement carbon-based materials. We have been experimenting with a wide number of diols and ethylene glycol and the other kinds of diols that we can get, some of them are like sugars, okay, will dissolve silica and we can distill over the silica compound. So that's the new discovery is we actually have found a way to separate the silica by distillation. Because you can distill it, it's like everything you can distill. You can make it very much higher purity. But it's so low cost that we can actually take the distillate and we can actually use it, spray it on wood, and petrify wood. Let's say my deck has just been refinished. If I can put silicon compounds into my deck, A, I can waterproof it. At the same time, I can make it fire resistant. It's not completely fireproof. So the question of whether you can do this is a simple question of whether it's cost effective. Can I do it in place of the other materials, the other deck coatings and sealers that are out there? And we think we can do that. The wood is filled with silica particles, very finely divided, and that's what provides the heat protection, and that's what we call petrification. It's not the way real petrification occurs because that's a very slow process over hundreds if not thousands of years. Okay, we're doing it instantly. It turns out that the best silica to dissolve is that which has got a higher surface because it reacts faster. So what kinds of high surface area silica are available? Well, diatomaceous earth is available, and we also can use rice hull ash. Every year, there are 100,000 tons of rice hull ash at least produced in the United States alone. So you are taking something that is a waste product, recycling this into a valuable commercial product. You can make fibers from silicon-based materials. You can make fabrics. It'll save energy. Okay, it will simplify processes. It will remove some toxic chemicals from the environment. This is the first step in perhaps changing how all of silicon chemistry is done.